Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you some very simple tricks to make your texts and PNGs pop. But before the start of today's video, please remember to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and if you really like today's content, please remember to just comment or you can just drop me a message to ask me if you have any questions or you know suggest what you want to see for the next video. So without further ado, let's start with the text pops. So for the text pops, it's pretty simple and to break down before the actual tutorial, you can see that this is the text and as you can see, there's a little bit of enlargement and prism effect on the first layer and slight movement and drop down with a second layer of enlargement and a prism effect and it ends here. So a few things you need to remember first to create a simple basic text you can find it under the titles and just drag it onto your timeline or you can be like me with the default of basic title set you can just press ctrl and t and definitely you don't want it to be too long so you can always trim it like this and delete you can click on this title and select the size to be you know a little bit bigger and you know put it in the right in the middle or anywhere you want it so the font i'm using is actually this one I'm, i have no idea how to pronounce this but it, it kind of looks pretty cool i'm gonna show you the next step which is to right click on the basic titles and click on show video animation and after that go to the video inspector and create a keyframe on scale and that's the first step done and go back to the timeline and press right arrow key once and create another keyframe by just enlarging the scale to 115 like this and go back to the timeline and press right arrow key again change the scale back to 100% so this is the very basic pop and the very first step finished the next step will be adding in the prism effects so i'm just gonna go to the effects browser find blur and find prism and drag this on top of your titles like this and let's go back to the video inspector create a keyframe on the amount and angle if you want and at the first dot over here bring the amount back to zero and the angle zero as well and the middle bring the amount up like this and bring the angle you know circle it and go to the next the final dot and change back the amount and the angle back to zero yep so Let's try and see with the first two steps done. Yep, that's the first two steps. So obviously, if you don't like the prism to be like, you know, over here, you can change the angle, whichever direction you want. Yep, personally, I like it to be, you know, right in the middle. So, yep, that is the one that I want. And if you want to make this effect a little bit longer, you can just drag the keyframes like this. And that will be a few frames, you know, longer than the actual one that I've shown you just now. Yep. And after that, I'm going to select this basic title press option and drag it upwards. And repeat the first step I show you just now, show video animation and go back to the first part over here. I like the second layer to be slightly delayed, so I am just gonna drag a few frames later like this. And change the opacity down to around 23. As you can see that this is the duration of the prism effect plus the slight pop you can always create a third 
you know uh, basic titles and cut it according to the time the duration of this effect so for better better reference actually or alternatively you can create two keyframes anywhere you know below the timeline when there's a slack you know a gap you know, this gray area I'm just gonna use the very simple Marcus method and I'm just gonna select both of these two basic titles press option and G to create a compound clip and this is the third step or maybe the fourth step but I lost count and you know this is the duration and I'm gonna go to the compound clip and go to transform you can either click the transform button the icon over here or else you can go to the actual video inspector and I'm just gonna create a keyframe a position over here so this is starting okay around this moment I want this text to be at a at a, you know at a top position like this and once it's gonna show the entire prism effect of the bottom of the second layer I'm just gonna you know drag it back to the bottom of the line previously you know for the first part and click done and hit play something like this and if you think that this movement is too big you can always come back here and make it as slightly as possible yep something like that and that's all you need to do so let's move on to the pictures or photos or icons or logos that you have chosen so for this case i'm using the bluebird the twitter logo and i'm just gonna copy paste this clip here on the compound clip that I've already created previously why am I doing this this is because I wanted to show you a very easy way to save time if you have already created a pop a text pop like me just now so what you're gonna do is obviously duplicate this thing and press the first layer the bottom layer of the basic titles Just press command and C and go to the first layer of the logo press command shift and V and just paste everything there and select the second layer of the basic titles press command and C and go to the second layer of the Twitter logo press command shift and V and paste it over there and remember just now we've already created a compound clip so we have to select both the logo and create a compound clip by pressing option and G and that's all you need to do and make sure you've already copied this thing and delete it and go back to the main timeline and paste it over here and once you hit play you can see that this already created with a slight pop and if you want to have a motion you can you know copy paste the original text pop movements like just now and command shift V over here and once you play that's going to be the movement plus the pop of the prism pop and obviously in the beginning my twitter pop was having a slight color change if you've noticed so what i've done is actually i added another effect which is the black and white effect so i'm just gonna drag this from the effects browser colors tab and put it onto the Twitter's, you know, uh, clip, compound clip, and go to uh, a frame before the actual start of the movement, and create a keyframe at the amount. Remember, the amount is at 100%. And go to the next keyframe and drop it to zero. And go to the end of the keyframes and create another new keyframe for the amount. And one frame later bring back up to 100 and that's all you need to do and I think it's pretty cool and obviously you might not want to bring back the last you know um, color change you might want to stay blue so yep that's the thing you want to have 
and that will be the end of today's shop tutorial and a very very cool and amazing pop for your text and PNGs and see you next time remember to subscribe to this channel and like this video and I really appreciate your support by you know commenting liking and subscribing thank you very much and see you next time bye bye